Let's have a look at the next question. We read the question well. The question says, our tea shop offers tea in cups of different sizes. The product of the prices of the three sizes is equivalent to 800. The prices of the smallest size and the medium size and the ratio of 2 to 5. If the shop owner decides to increase the price of the smallest and the medium ones by the P6, keeping the price of the last unchanged, the product becomes 3200. The question is find the sum of the prices of the original prices. Let's assume three of the sizes is X, Y and Z. The question says when you multiply all of them, the value comes out to be as 800. And X and Y are in the ratio of 2 to 5. Next time, if you add 6 and 6 here, keeping Z as simple, then X plus 6 into Y plus 6 into Z is coming out to be as 3 to double zero. And you have to find the value of X plus Y plus Z. I repeat, you have to find the value of X and Y and Z are in them. Once you factorize 800, you will find out this value as 2 raised to 5 into 5 raised to 2. So possibly I just have to plug and play 2 raised to 5 and 5 raised to 2 among x, y and z to make it equal to 800. Now certainly, we know x and y is in the ratio of 2 to 5. Let's start by assuming x and y is simply 2 rupees and 5 rupees. If x is 2, y is 5, then z certainly will be 80 because when you multiply them, the value comes out to be as 800. But next time when you add 6 and 6 to each, this value will become 8, this value will become 11, and this will be 80 itself. Now 8 into 11 into 80 is not coming out to be as 3 to double zero. So that first proposition where the value of x and y is 2 and 5 have will be neglected. Possibly, we will put some more values to see whether the values are coming up or not. You want the product to be as 800. Next value which I can assume possibly would be 4 and 10, which is 2 to 5 ratio. So 4 into 10 into 20 will make the value as 800. Adding 6 and 6 here, the next value will become 10 into 16 into 20. 16 into 200 will give you the value as 3200, which is perfectly matching also. Very well, the validation was picture perfect. So my value of x, y and z is coming out to be respectively what? The original value is 4 rupees, followed by 10 rupees, and then 20 rupees. This is the original prices of x, y, and z. And certainly if you add them, the final answer will come out to be as rupees 34. Simple question, and the final answer come out to be as 34 rupees for this question.